Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Prepare yourself for 30 thought-provoking questions covering various aspects of the Holy Bible. Before we start, please subscribe and like this video to help us spread the Word of God. After the quiz, share your score in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We also have an exciting opportunity for you. Click the Join button to become a channel member. As a member, you'll get access to exclusive content that will enhance your biblical journey, and you'll be supporting us in sharing the Word of God with more people. Are you ready? Let's jump into the video. Question 1. What did God use to form man in the creation story? A. Water B. Fire C. Dust of the ground D. Air. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 Question 2 Who was appointed by Eve as a replacement for Abel whom Cain killed A Seth B Noah C Enoch D Methuselah Time to think The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 4, verse 25. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God, said she, hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. Question 3. Upon eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge, what was Adam and Eve's immediate realization? A. They could speak to animals. B. They were hungry. C. They were naked. D. They were invincible. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis chapter 3 verse 7. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Question 4. Upon whose death did Abraham purchase a burial plot for himself and his family in Machpelah? A. Lot. B. Isaac C. Sarah D. Nahor Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan. Book of Genesis, chapter 23, verse 19. Question 5. What did Abraham do with Lot when their herdsmen quarreled over grazing land? A. Expelled Lot from his company. B. Chose the better land for himself. C. Suggested they part ways amicably. D. Went to war over the land. Time to think. Offering Lot the first choice of land. 
the right answer is letter C. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right, or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Book of Genesis, chapter 13, verses 8 and 9. Question 6. What significant event took place between God and Abraham under the stars, involving a promise about his descendants? A. God changed Abraham's name. B. God commanded Abraham to move to a new land. C. God made a covenant to give Abraham as many descendants as the stars. D. God instructed Abraham on the sacrifice of Isaac. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 5. Question 7. How did God provide for Abraham when he was about to sacrifice Isaac as a sign of his faith? A commanded a great flood to signal the end of the sacrifice. B. Caused a ram to appear caught in a thicket. C. Brought Isaac back to life. D. Offered a detailed map for a future temple as a sign of blessing. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 13. Question 8. What did Abraham do annually to commemorate God's covenant pertaining to his descendants in the land? A. Offered a sacrifice of ten lambs. B. Built an altar to God. C. Circumcised all the males in his household. D. Hosted a feast with strangers and the needy. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep, between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man-child among you shall be circumcised. Book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 10. Question 9. How did Abraham respond when God informed him of the future suffering and enslavement of his descendants in a foreign land? A. He pleaded with God to reconsider. B. He built an altar to seek favor. C. He questioned why God would allow such a thing. D. The Bible does not explicitly detail Abraham's immediate response. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. Book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 13. Question 10. 
What was Abraham's chief concern when he was asked to leave his country and go to a land that God would show him? A. Fear of losing his wealth. B. Fear for his family's safety. C. Leaving his father's household. B. Die. Wan Yeram. The Bible does not explicitly detail Abraham's concerns about this command. Time to think. Uh, the right answer is letter D. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 1. Question 11. To whom did Abraham give all that he had before his death, according to the Bible? A. Ishmael. B. Isaac. C. Lot. D. Eliezer of Damascus. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. Book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 5. Question 12. What was the name of Abraham's firstborn son, whom Hagar bore to him? A. Isaac. B. Jacob. C. Ishmael. D. Zimran. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Genesis, chapter 16, verse 15. And Hagar bare Abram a son. And Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare, Ishmael. Question 13. What did Abraham plant in Beersheba as a testament to his covenant with God? A. An oak tree. B. A tamarisk tree. C. A palm tree. D. A vineyard. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of Genesis. Chapter 21, verse 33. Abraham planted a tamarisk tree in Beersheba and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. Question 14. Who was sent away by Abraham together with her son on Sarah's demand? A. Keturah. B. Hagar. C. Rebekah. D. Leah. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 21, verse 14. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, and the child, and sent her away. And she departed, and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. Question 15. Who did Abraham entertain unknowingly as they were on their way to Sodom? A. Three messengers of God. B. Two kings from neighboring lands. C. A family seeking refuge. D. A group of traveling merchants. Time to think.
The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 2. And he lift up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground. Question 16. What was the reason Abraham gave for Sarah to say she was his sister when they went into Egypt? A. Because he feared she would be taken away by the Pharaoh and he would be killed. B. To gain favor and riches from the Pharaoh. C. As part of a ritual tradition. D. Sarah mistakenly told people she was his sister. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Egyptians shall see thee, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will save thee alive. Question 17. To whom did God say, I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him regarding Abraham's descendants? A. Isaac B. Ishmael C. Jacob D. Joseph Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 19. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. Question 18. Who did Abraham rescue after they were taken captive by King Chedorlaomer and his allies? A. Isaac B. Lot C. Ishmael D. Sarah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them, and pursued them unto Hobah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women also, and the people. Book of Genesis, chapter 14, verses 14-16. Question 19. How many sons did Abraham have with Keturah? A. 7. B. 6. C. 8. D. 5. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah, and she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Madan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. Book of Genesis, chapter 25, verses 1 to 2. Question 20. What did the Lord declare to Abraham after he had prepared to sacrifice Isaac? regarding the blessings for his obedience. A. He would be immortal. B. His seed would possess the gates of their enemies. C. He would live to a ripe old age. D. 
his name would be remembered for all generations. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Genesis chapter 22 verse 17. Question 21. Who did Abraham marry after the death of Sarah, according to the King James Version of the Bible? A. Keturah B. Hagar C. Rebekah D. Rachel Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah, book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 1. Question 22. What did Abraham respond when God asked him to leave his country and kindred for a land that he would show him? A. He questioned God's command. B. He immediately set out as the Lord had spoken to him. C. He refused to leave without a sign. D. He asked for riches in the new land. Time to think. The right answer is letter B, Genesis, chapter 12, verse 4. So Abram departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. Question 23. What did Abraham name the place where he was prepared to sacrifice Isaac in recognition of God's provision? A. El Shaddai B. Jehovah Jireh C. Bethel D. Mara Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, In the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Genesis chapter 22 verse 14. Question 24. What offering did Abraham make to the Lord near the oaks of Mamre as he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day? A. A calf tender and good. B. Seven lambs. C. A grain offering. D. Two turtle doves. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 7. And Abraham ran unto the herd, and fetched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. Question 25. What did Abraham say to King Abimelech when he reproached him for Sarah saying she was his sister? A. Indeed, I thought, surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will kill me for my wife's sake. B. She is truly my sister, the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. C. God has caused me to wander from my father's house. Hence I said to her, This kindness you can do for me, at every place we go, say of me, He is my brother. D. 
both A and B are correct. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Book of Genesis, chapter 20, verse 12. And yet indeed she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. And she became my wife. And verse 11, And Abraham said, Because I thought, Surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. Question 26. What was the significant feature of the covenant God made with Abraham, ensuring it would be a sign between them for generations? A. Offering of sacrifices. B. Building a temple. C. Circumcision. D. A rainbow in the sky. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 11. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. Question 27. What did Abraham do after his wife Sarah died? A. Married immediately. B. Traveled to a distant land. C. Mourning and wept for her. D. Built an altar to God. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Book of Genesis, chapter 23, verse 2. Question 28. How many years did Abraham live before he passed away? A. 175 years. B. 150 years. C. 120 years. D. 200 years. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 7. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life which he lived, an hundred threescore and fifteen years. Question 29. How did Abraham respond when Sarah suggested that he should have a child with her servant Hagar to fulfill God's promise of offspring? A. He refused, insisting on waiting for a child with Sarah. B. He laughed and did not believe it was possible. C. He agreed and had a son named Ishmael with Hagar. D. He left the decision to God and prayed for guidance. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Genesis, chapter 16, verse 2. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. Question 30. What did God provide to Abraham on the mountain as a sign of provision during the sacrifice of Isaac? A. A ram. B. A dove. C. A lamb. D. An eagle. 
Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.